Hello and welcome to Guitar Gear Gyan with me Sahil Jagtiani where we talk about all things related to the Indian guitar gear scene and in today's episode we're reviewing the Sire A3DS in a natural finish but before that make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. Okay, so I've got the Sire A3DS. Anything else? It's made in Indonesia. Uh, it's a natural finish. Um, it's beautifully constructed. The action is really low. It's probably been set up in the uh, shop because it was the only one uh, that we uh, basically didn't get to unbox. It uh, came to me in a, a case, a gig bag. You can see the unboxing video of uh, this guitar and of the other guitars up there. So click it and go and watch it. And yeah, um, this is something out of the box, you know, I've been very impressed by. Um, uh, definitely, like I said, they've probably set it up, but it plays incredibly well. Um, there are some premium appointments on this guitar. Um, let's take a closer look at all the specs of this guitar now. So those were the specs of this guitar. It's a solid top, uh, mahogany back and sides. Uh, uh, the uh, fretboard is rolled, so it feels really, really good. I mean, I just can't tell you how wonderful it feels. Um, the neck is just the right size. Um, there's a volute at the back, as you can see over there. Construction's fantastic. I mean, these don't look like uh, branded tuners, but they do their bit, you know, they function pretty well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. And, this uh, guitar, uh, you know, was uh, lent to us uh, by Siddharth at Soundglitz. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below. This is not a paid uh, review. I will be giving this guitar back to Siddharth. After this, um, Sire is not involved with this uh, review in any way. Um, although I do wish they would give me such a guitar in the future because it's really good. Okay. Um, yeah, anyway, back to the review. Um, Hey, I, I don't know what else to say. It's it's really good. So let's do uh, a playthrough. Let's do an initial playthrough. I'm gonna keep. Uh, it's it's got a mic blend option here. I think on the right, the middle one is uh, I think uh, uh, the overall tone, and the left one is your master volume. Now there's two pickups on this guitar. There's a piezo, not a piezo, not a piezo. It's a piezo pickup under the saddle. Uh, there's a condenser uh, sound hole mic also as well and I think this third knob allows you to blend between the two. So for the initial playthrough I'm going to keep everything at 12 o'clock okay. We're going to uh, use my uh, pencil uh, condenser mic at the 12th fret and we're going to use my SE larger diaphragm mic condenser diaphragm mic at the sound hole level so you get an idea of both and we're going to plug it in. Um, we're going to do some strumming, some finger picking stuff, some uh, single note stuff. Let's get to the first playthrough.
So that was the first playthrough. Now for playthrough number two, I'm going to move uh, this knob uh, in different positions. Um, uh, have it 100% on one side, 100% on the other, then 50% and then 25% and 75%. So to give you an idea of actually what you could achieve sonically with this, uh, you know, when you're recording directly into a sound card, let's get to the second playthrough. So that was the second playthrough. What did you think? Is this guitar for you? Have you got gas? Are you gonna buy it? Let me know in the comment section below what you think about it. Is it worth it? Which setting did you like best? For me personally, under 30,000 rupees, this is the best guitar available right now on the marketplace, without a doubt. Okay. Um, I don't think any of the other brands can hold a candle to it, frankly speaking, especially with the uh, you know, the pickup options, the premium appointments, the fact that it's got a solid top, a good solid top, not, a, not just a solid top for namesake. It's really, really good. The finishing is fantastic, okay? Uh, the binding, I, I don't know what to say. It's so good. I'm really surprised that, uh, you know, I haven't uh, bought one before. I haven't gotten one on the show before. It's, it's really, really worth it. Now, here's the caveat. Okay, I can go on singing the praises about this guitar. Well, this particular guitar has been set up most likely by the shop and then given to me. Uh, so it plays phenomenally well. However, I did get in touch with a couple of, uh, you know, other retailers. And what they said to me was that many of the guitars don't come in a directly playable condition they all have to basically sand uh, you know uh, the saddle down a little bit to get that perfect action which is normal uh, for most uh, of the guitars coming out of these factories in indonesia and in china um, i know kepma for example when they uh, you know get their guitars to india the guys at procraft set it up perfectly and then ship them out so make sure you set up this guitar um, and that goes for any guitar frankly speaking which you're buying an acoustic guitar especially uh, you know when you're buying it i would always advise you to go to the shop or to go to a dealer that does the setups uh, you know beforehand for you but all in all um, i'm completely blown away by this product um, the last time I was this impressed by a product was when I got the Kepma F1E uh, GA. I mean, that's been a staple guitar of mine. Now I have got gas to get uh, a Sire for sure and keep it, uh, you know, as an option. Especially the Dreadnought uh, sized, uh, you know, instrument. Maybe I'll go for an A4 because I haven't done the review of an A4 as yet. Maybe I'll go in for an A4. But it's got me very interested now to look at more of the Sire products to see if they're really all matching up to this type of playability. Yeah, I mean, this guitar... Mind blown. Hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you press that like button, click the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. In order to promote our videos on YouTube, we require a lot of interaction from you guys. So your comments, your shares and your likes all do help. Also, if you want to help us in making more videos, become a member on Gigzy. Our Gigzy page link is in the 
description below we've got courses and a lot of other stuff also on that um, we're on social media make sure you're following us to stay up to date with all our latest activities and above all else make sure you stay safe by taking steam washing your hands and wearing your mask and rock on